Let's get on to our next honoree. To introduce this laureate, please welcome CEO of Mobidus Advisors, Mark L. Joseph. Mark? Hello. It's with great pleasure that I introduce my friend Craig Rupert for this very well-deserved honor as a member of the Junior Achievement of Greater Washington Hall of Fame. Craig is an outstanding member of this community who has achieved great success in building one of the largest landscape management and construction companies in the United States. Craig clearly made a very good career choice uh, at a very young age to go into the landscape business. It was a great career choice because Craig is very talented and successful at growing things. He built this business into one of the largest with today 1,800 employees at 29 branches in 10 states, as well as a very large real estate business. It's widely recognized Rupert Landscape and Rupert uh, Companies uh, as the leader in the industry. But Craig's success is in large part because he never forgot his roots. Craig grew up in this community. He was one of eight children. And today, he and his wife, Patty, have four of their own children and 11 grandchildren. He says the key to his success is his love of helping others. And that's very evident in so many of his activities, from mentoring his employees to giving back in the community. Craig has been involved in so many organizations and been recognized for his contributions. He's been named Philanthropist of the Year by Montgomery County, as well as the Philanthropist of the Year by Easter Seals. He served on many boards, uh, including the Federal Reserve Bank Board of Richmond, uh, the Wills Company Board, Sandy Spring Bank Board, uh, and he's still very active with a number of organizations like Food for the Poor, uh, Easter Seals, uh, ADL, and others. Uh, Craig is one of the best people I know. He's very excited by this honor and the fact that this gives him the chance to do what he likes doing best, which is helping young people to think about their future and how they might grow an organization as uh, he has so successfully done. So I hope you will join me in congratulating Craig and his family on this wonderful a recognition and giving them best wishes for the future. Thank you and have a good evening. I'm Craig Rupert and I am the founder of the Rupert Companies. I grew up in Bethesda Chevy Chase. I was one of eight children. Because we had a big family, uh, everybody tended to go to work at a young age. At one time, we had four paper routes in the neighborhood. Each, uh, each of us had a paper route. And we started cutting grass in the neighborhood and shoveling snow in the neighborhood. So that was my, even though I didn't know it at the time, my first sort of entrepreneurial experience that more or less I stuck with. We started the business in my mom and dad's garage, okay? and. I guess you could say it officially started when we bought a, a truck. I had no idea early on that I was gonna be successful. We gradually were learning and developing the business. And in 1980, I came in the business full-time and we moved to a, a new location and the business started to grow more quickly. Somewhere along the line, we figured out that uh, the real business we're in is not mowing grass and planting trees. It's developing people. And, you know, if we have a competitive advantage, it's our people. Because we're gonna put more energy into trying to provide the opportunity for them to learn more, take on more responsibility, get promoted, make more money, and and get satisfaction out of life. So that's, that's kind of the, the most important piece of our mission. Um, and it's easy to say, and it's hard to do. You know, and you read a lot about, and you hear commencement stories about graduates who are encouraged to find their dream and pursue their dream. And that didn't happen for me. Sometimes you don't have to have a clear vision. Um, sometimes a passion will find you. 
many times, maybe you don't see potential in yourself. But if you pick a career and stick with it, um, chances are pretty darn good. Others will find potential in you and help you reach it um, by guiding you and, and being confident in you. Um, and what, what do you have to do in return? It's, it's the basics. Be on time, have a good attitude, keep learning, and stick with it. I'm honored to be recognized this way. And I'm particularly honored because I understand the work of what Junior Achievement is doing. Um, but I'm also honored because I'm following in the footsteps of so many people that are so well respected and so highly regarded by the community and certainly by me. And I'm wondering why the heck they picked me. I still wonder that. Um, so I'm really grateful and uh, honored to be a part of this. Please, please join me in congratulating someone who I wish had been my guidance counselor. <laughs> Our 2021 laureate, Craig Rupert. Okay, great congratulations and thank you so much for all that you've done, Craig. Leon, thank you, um, thank you. It's a, it's a great honor to be here um, with this company. Um, I'm tremendously um, surprised and grateful. Um, Mark did a, a very generous job of commenting on me. Mark, thank you, I appreciate that. And I'll just share a couple of, of thoughts. Uh, I had the chance to go visit um, th the facility at, um, in Wheaton at Thomas Edison yesterday. I spent two hours there and I saw what Junior Achievement was all about, what they're doing there, and super impressed. The facility is state of the art and what they're doing with every seventh grader in Montgomery County is, is just terrific. And uh, if I had that sort of opportunity when I was younger, it would have helped me avoid a lot of mistakes that I made along the way. So my hat's off to Junior Achievement, the team of people that work here, the leadership, uh, the, the volunteers, and I'm especially grateful to all the supporters who have lent their time to be with us today and their, their treasures to, to help support such a great cause. And I got started in, in, and learned about um, philanthropy uh, at a young age because I went with my mom to drop off my youngest sister, Colleen, who had Down syndrome at Easter Seals facility. Mm -hmm. And I learned how much of an impact uh, that had on Colleen at an early age and how it affected her throughout her life and, and allowed her to contribute at a much higher level than she would have otherwise. So um, it was a good lesson for me and, it, and it's helped um, commit me to, to helping others and doing, being, it's part of why I'm sitting here today with, with this wonderful group. Um, and last thing I'll say is I'm getting a lot of credit and I got a lot more credit in that video than I deserve. Um, I've worked with a great team of people. I've got a great family and I'm, um, I don't deserve all the credit that I get, they do. So thank you to everybody that's allowed me to sit here today. Well, we're all, we all benefit from you sharing all of that, those insights, the lessons that you've learned, and then things that you're passing along. And your, your philanthropy as a Montgomery County resident, I, must, I want to say thank you because I have just seen directly the benefits of the, the, the investments that you and your family have made in the community. I want to thank you for that myself. Thank you, Leon. Right. Appreciate it. All the best to you. Thank you.